secondary um, has some holes. You don't lose a guy like a Dory Jackson and not have question marks about who replaces them in particular because, uh, well, they also lost Leon McQuay, who was not as talented as a Dory, but he was, he had great senior leadership. He made some clutch plays when he needed to, he's gone as well. Now, um, USC is going to be playing a lot of nickel defense in the PAC 12. It's a very pass heavy, heavy conference. So the DBs have, uh, uh, a lot of work to do and they need a lot of them on that front though. Uh, Clay Helton has flat out stated his the new guys coming up. He is was blown away by their ability to seize the opportunity they had. They came out working hard and humble and knew the playbook. And they came in like, you know, these young kids came in like old professionals the way they worked. Um, so it's it could be really exciting. There's, you know, it's maybe not as exciting as a Dory Jackson, but that guy was just all electricity. But uh, you should have guys like Biggie Marshall who should lead the unit uh, at cornerback for sure. Uh, he's he's coming into his third year, and I think he's really going to uh, finally come into his own. Chris Hawkins and Marvell Tell should also be good. Uh, but right behind them, you had uh, Jack Jones, uh, uh, who needs to step up. Uh, Jane Harris has already looked good in spring ball. He's going to – he's gonna um, I think really impress some folks this year. Jamal Cook uh, – had an amazing spring, like amazing to the point where he even got national recognition for spring ball. Uh, but he was just, he was just picking off passes left and right, breaking up plays. I mean, he really looked good and he might not even make the, the starting lineup this year. So they've got a lot of talent there. Uh, Jonathan Lockett, another big name in the secondary, he's going to miss extended time. He had to get hip surgery. Um, so that's another hole they have to fill. But they've really got a lot of talent there. It's just they're young. They're going to have to uh, get some experience, learn how to read uh, offenses and quarterbacks and and just know where everyone's at and learn how to work together. But once they get it, uh, this could be one of the premier secondaries in the Pac-12 for sure. And so that should be exciting. But for right now, they just have a lot of work to do to get there. So we mentioned uh, the defensive issues against uh, Penn State in the Rose Bowl. Uh, they got off to a good start and stymied uh, the Nittany Lions out of the gate, and they played a strong finish in the last 10 minutes, which allowed the offense to overcome the 14-point deficit to win the game 52-49. It's a USC defense that finished top 30 in the nation in points against uh, yards and rushing yards, and in particular at only 22 points per game. Uh, in today's college football, that's a pretty stout uh, figure for the USC defense looking to be even better this year, despite uh, some losses at Dory Jackson being the most prominent. All right. Saturdays with Nick, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Join him there for college football coverage. Of course, uh, Nick joins me each and every week to talk USC football right here at Mark Rogers TV. So we splice up those segments and provide them for you at Mark Rogers TV. But if you just want the full conversation, it's all USC and nothing but USC. Go to Mark Rogers TV uh, USC. You can find that on YouTube. All right, Nick, uh, it's a good discussion. We appreciate you getting us set for uh, fall camp. Of course, Mark, anytime.